The fire is spreading. Welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Today there was an update and the update brings changes to a couple different things. The dragon and the wheelbarrow dragon now light things on fire and the fire will spread. Light them on fire. Is it, is it spreading? It can spread to both enemies and allies, which is an interesting thing. It's, I think it's spreading. Oh, look at it. Yes. So today we're going to be testing out the new stuff, looking at the fire and seeing what will happen. Let's do it. Oh, look at them. <laughs> flaming, flaming hobbits. <laughs> Woo. So welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Today, like I said, there was an update and uh, a bunch of changes actually. Uh, ranged units are actually now better at standing still when they're firing, which is pretty cool because I've been asking for that for a long time. Uh, units slow down when they turn, which I don't know how much of an effect that's going to have on things. The Dynasty Dragon and the Wheelbarrow Dragon will now light enemies on fire. So this guy right here now can light things on fire instead of just the pushback. The Skeleton Archer's fire and the Dynasty Dragon's fire will now randomly spread to some nearby units, friendly and enemy, which is pretty interesting. Um, the wheelbarrow uh, itself has, the wheelbarrow now has knockback, and uh, there's a bunch of other things, like the knight's charge was increased, and then balance and stuff like that. So anyway, uh, lots of changes to the game today, and it's pretty cool. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> I don't want to be a test dummy for fire. All right, let's test the wheelbarrow dragon, shall we? Can you light <laughs> Bob Ross? I have an extra big chin today. I'm ready to fight. <laughs> Here he goes. He's rolling out. There's the fire. Spread. Oh, toasted. Look at that knockback. As if it wasn't already good enough. Now he lights things on fire and he knocks he knocks things back. And he's, that fire spreads. Now, what I want to know... Here's, here's what I really want to know. Okay. I want to know, like... If we can, okay, remember the domino chain thing with Zeus's lightning boat? I want to know if we can spread the fire in the same type of way. And then I also want to see, let's just kind of do that. I also want to see if we get like our own guys up in here, you know, how likely are they? And did the hay balers catch on fire even more because <laughs> they're made of hay? I want to see. Now, th so I'm, there's friendly fire, so they're gonna get toasted. Everyone's gonna get toasted here. Let's see, spreading to enemies, to friendlies. Oh, so far not. Oh, oh. Well, I think maybe it's. I don't. I don't know. Do we see anybody on fire yet? Are any are any of our guys on fire? I can't even tell. It doesn't look like it. So I wonder if the chances of that are pretty low, or and as they're fighting, is it? Can he, oh, no, they're just scorched now. Okay, he just got, he just got, they just scorched him a little bit. He didn't actually do much more than that. Oh, the skeleton archer, their fire spreads too. So, that should work. Let's do it. I just want to see if, if it's a, f if friendly units, how, how likely they are to get. Oh, good job, dude. You really, you really took care of that, that time. Hey, this guy is made out of hay. How is he literally not on? Oh, there he is. Now he's on fire. Okay. I was like, how, how is he not getting lit on fire? Look at his spread. Oh, it's cool. Yes. I don't, you know, it's not as cool as Zeus's lightning bolt because it's a little bit more delayed. But it's definitely spreading to nearby allies. And I wonder too, like if it's on the ground like this and a unit walks over it. You know what unit would be cool to bring back? The barrel roller. Do you guys remember the barrel roller? That was a cool unit. If, you, if you're if you new to tabs and you don't know what the barrel roller was, the barrel roller was literally a unit that rolled on a barrel and then he exploded and fire shot out from him. And it was a really cool unit. Like, I wish they brought back these units. It can't be that hard to make. I do, they have to model them though. So that could, that's, you know, obviously, that's obviously a thing that takes a while. Is there an update? I, you know, this gave me an idea to try uh, to use it in oh no light him up ah, might not work it might not work as well as I thought it was going to I thought maybe hey you know since it was updated I wonder if we can use you know like the dragon and stuff to 
We need, like, firework archers. We need something to delay them from getting closer. Put one over there. I just want to see if it'll get if they'll get torched and how likely they are to get like lit on fire and stuff and sp let that fire spread because it could be way more effective to use things like like this like fire stuff in in campaigns and battles and things. Okay, archers archers are pretty OP against skeletons. <laughs> like one shot of them, hit him. There we go. Okay, I want to. I just want to torch things. Oh, this could be a problem. Uh, didn't we try this once with like? Didn't we try this? Cause it got all. It gets all funky, right? Cause you can't turn it. Yeah. This. Okay. This might. Maybe I'll do it in a different one. Up. Uh, have I never done these campaigns? Apparently, I've never done the campaigns. Oh yes. Toasting. Toasting them up. We almost need to offset them. Oh, look at it. Look at them. We must have to offset them. Let me do this like this. There we go. That way we make sure we hit them all. Spread that fire, man. There we go. Look at it. Look at it spread. Oh, it's wonderful. Listen to the painters dying in agony. Hey. The painters had a change too, but I don't remember what it was. Are they kicking too? I didn't realize that the that the chicas kicked when they were still attached. Are you really about to get beat by paint? Wait, what? Why? Why did that guy just go flying? What the heck? Okay, we're gonna. I'm gonna. I just want to try this. I'm just gonna keep trying it. I just want to see how effective it will be. Oh, balloons! I didn't realize that was those were balloons. We need we need a we need some dummies. That's what we need. How about hay hay baler? Back up a little bit, okay? Just back up slightly. Okay, you're gonna ruin things for us. Dragon? Yes. Dragon. Yes. Or we could do those guys instead. Probably be better. Yes, we're going to do this now. Halflings, okay. Here we go. Torch him. Light him up, baby. Well, it's pretty effective, but so far we haven't really been able to like test. We need to just test a massive group. Just a massive, massive group of units. That would be good. Look at this. Look at this one's backwards somehow. How did it get turned around backwards? <laughs> oh, yes. You know, I haven't really, like, used dragons that much just simply because, like, I don't know. I mean, they're cool and all, but... Yes. Toast those buns. Toasting the buns. Always a good thing. Toast buns. Yes. Fire. The fire is spreading. Oh, that's a better angle. There we go. Yeah. How well is it spreading over here? I thought I'd make a big enough group so maybe it w I could watch it spread, but the dragon is still, like, hitting them pretty well. Look at that. Wow. Three dragons together is pretty insane. Because apparently... It doesn't... Sp okay, can you stop, please? Look at They're just, like, pushing the other one. This is actually an incredibly effective formation. Well, was the group not long enough, or what the heck? Okay. Oh! It didn't spread. It didn't spread how I thought it was going to. I thought it would, like, actually spread and go down the entire group. But it didn't. It's almost like we need to use, like, something as, like, a block to, like, stop them from moving. But there's really no way to do that. Unless I just put more units down, and then it, we can just see if it spreads the whole way. But I don't think it's going to. There's, It's literally not going to do it as effectively as I want it to. I want to see everything get caught on fire. Maybe we just need more fire things. Maybe what we need to do is something like this. Where we take and we get 
some skeleton archers. And then we do it over here. <laughs> we're about to do, we're doing, we're doing, we're toasting some hobbits over here for some test, for, for science. For science. Yay. Now we shall, now we shall see. They're all going to the skeleton over here. Whoops. Oh, look at this down here. It's not going as well as I want it to. Holy crap. Uh, you have a hobbit army coming your way. I wanted them to be far enough away to where they would still go at the dragons, but apparently I didn't put them back far enough. We kind of almost need them to walk up. We need them to walk, walk on up. So, let's put this back over here a little bit further, shall we? And make them walk so that we don't, hopefully the hobbits don't go for them. Start the battle! Who cares about waiting for things to spawn in? Just start it. There we go. Sporadicus. <laughs> Do it! They're still going to the, darn it! It's okay. We just, it's all for Sane's purposes. Okay, th there we go. It's an effective grouping. Look at it spread. Oh, it's wonderful. Yeah, that's pretty. Oh, look at that. Just like engulfed. It got like backdraft. Bigger, bigger, bigger amounts of fire there or something. I don't know what how you want to describe it. It's not doing what I wanted to do, to say the least. This might be more of what I actually need to do to test this effectively. I want to watch the fire spread from the top. And we can see how effective it is. That's actually really cool. Uh, it doesn't spread fast enough. I think it should spread even quicker. I mean, it makes sense, but... You can't get a cool effect when it's... Uh, I mean, it's probably perfectly balanced, to be honest. Uh, if I if it was spread any faster, it might not be that. They need to make, like, a, a unit that just, like, torches things really, really fast. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you think of the update. Hopefully you're having a great day. See you in the next one.